Tidahan Nobyembre Utsu 2013 Ang Bagyo Hayan Gintaraan ng Tacloban City Nga may kakusgon ng 200 miles per hour Libu-libu ang namatay Since the most powerful typhoon to ever make landfall battered the central Philippines, nearly 6,000 people were killed, millions left homeless in the streets. Tonight you're going to meet a Largo man who filled three suitcases with food and supplies and then got on a plane to go find his in-laws and help them. It's an incredible story of hope, compassion, and never giving up. Right now, probably 15 bodies in body bags. And there are a couple without body bags that are just covered. And the smell is overwhelming. Brent traveled nonstop for nearly three days across the world to find his wife's family and bring them food and water. It was a miracle her mother survived, but her cousin lost his entire family. And so they were all washed away. What Brent found was a war zone, dead bodies in the streets, people starving, no electricity, no water. His wife was worried every night. He said, I am going there. I said, are you crazy? You know, like, it's, it's, it's gone. I mean, it's wiped out. By the way, he says he is glad he made the journey to find his in-laws, and he'd do it again in a heartbeat. Brent, you're a hero in our book. So, for typhoon na hayan that hit the entire Tacloban. I thought I would die because the water downstairs from our house up to my neck. So I asked them if uh, where is my uncle. They told me, oh, they are uh, they died. I was crying that about what happened because my father is gone, my mother is gone, my wife is gone, and, and my two children are also gone. People here are just left to relive the reality that they have, trying to move forward. And they go to sleep at night, clear their minds, and wake up to walk out to see destruction all over again. Many people died. We are trying to, to ask help from other country. When I go around the city, a lot of people have been walking. It's like a, a ghost, a zombie, <laughs> a zombie city, because people might go to Samar, go to Palo. People get scared because there is no enough food. I think uh, 60 plus houses were uh, lost. Mapay na laba, akong sapit ba, nagyakan na sa yan. Lord, di ka pag gusto mamat na kay bata pa ako, may dako pa baby. This is the area supposed to be our building, our kindergarten building. It's uh, pretty dramatic to see this. So many had died, and um, you know, this brings home the, the level of destruction that's been here. We are hoping that we will uh, uh, return to the normal condition. Hi, what's your name? Here, Dad, you get candy too. Lollipop for the teachers. I brought a lollipop. Are you a teacher here? Yes. How many years? For five years in this place. Okay. My wife used to be a teacher here, right there in that classroom. People are starting to clean up. They're paying everybody uh, 500 pesos per day to do cleanup and I'm, we're seeing a big impact. People are, are walking with little containers 
uh, bowls, anything that'll hold debris. And everything that happened, God has a purpose. I believe in that. What I am praying now is God tell me, not what will I do? Their survivors are left to live with the loss of family, neighbors, and co-workers. 75% of the schools are damaged. 50% of the homes are completely destroyed. But through it all, the people of Takloban, Leyte, and Samar will rise again. The people make Takloban what it is today and what it will become tomorrow. I am Takloban. 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 I am Takloban.